Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for October the 10th. Today, in 1562, 29-year-old Elizabeth I got a bad cold. It was actually smallpox. At first, she didn't believe that she could actually get smallpox. It was very highly contagious, really often deadly, and it could cause severe disfigurement, and it still has no cure or treatment. She did not believe that a queen, that her majesty, could get an illness like this. And I highly suggest, if you're interested, that you check out the scene from Elizabeth R., which showed how angry she was at her doctors when they told her that she had smallpox. She became so ill after her outburst that she couldn't speak, and there was real concern that she would die, and there was a lot of worry about the succession. For a week, she battled a very high fever, and it seemed certain that she would not live. At the time, her heir was Mary, Queen of Scots, who was Catholic, and British Protestants were very worried about what would happen if a Catholic came to the throne, especially after their recent experience with Elizabeth's sister, Mary. Under the terms of Henry VIII's will, her second cousin, Catherine Grey, who was the sister of Lady Jane Grey, who had lost her life after the rebellion against Mary, she could claim the throne, but it was a tenuous claim, and Mary, Queen of Scots's was clearly a more direct line. Fortunately, Elizabeth survived, and there was no need to worry. But those who cared for her did become ill, one of whom was Mary Dudley, the sister of Robert Dudley, Elizabeth's soulmate. She also survived, but her face was left badly marked. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.